Hello, this is Spellbinder's report. I'm doing a report on, uh, well, on Krabby Dog Tricks and his latest uh, video, format video that he has. This is uh, McGrath talking about the financials. Robber barons that have stolen everything known to mankind from the American people. And we're not waking up. And for some reason, that's okay. But here he is. Just this four minute uh, video telling you the truth. This is what's going on. We're being robbed. We're being stolen from. We are being turned into a third world nation right before your eyes. And you're too stupid to see it. If you don't see what he's saying, it's the truth. It's very scary. And here he is. The left-right game continues in D.C. as the distractions of, uh, you know, cooked uh, economic data comes in. Uh, a little piece of truth hit the uh, mainstream media today, which is uh, $223 billion in deficit spending is what took place in the month of February. The largest deficit spending month in the history of this nation. Uh, second place was last February. Third place is the February prior. So as we see, we're being told that we're in recovery, we see what's really going on. Year after year, our deficits are growing larger. Year after year, we're spending more money that we don't have. And before you think for one second, it's time to uh, go after, you know, whatever, the Medicare, Social Security, Medicaid. You know, these are all bloated projects that are full of pork. But in reality, these are crumbs. These, this is nothing compared to the money we have invested into behemoths like Freddie and Fannie, or the trillions of dollars that have been spent in our names of rescuing a financial system, a financial system that we were told would be fixed with an unread piece of legislation like the Dodd-Frank bill. But in reality, we're sitting here, Sheila Bear, going out trying to convince the markets uh, that the, the too big to fail are not too big to fail, but the markets know better. That's why the lending rate, the, the uh, cost to insure their debt, is so much less than it is for the average bank, the banks that didn't do things wrong. Here we sit in 2011, going into the spring, Dodd-Frank is now law, and we have the too big to fail, which are broken up, and they're no more systemic to the economy uh, than they were before 2008, correct? Absolutely not. They're more systemic than they ever were. They're bigger. They're bigger than too big to fail. They are the economy in this country, yet we still want to squabble about uh, matters that you know, are not going to affect uh, one way or another the direction of the country. We have an argument going on now on a spending bill in D.C. The Democrats want to cut uh, six billion dollars. The Republicans want to cut fifty billion dollars. Th this money is uh, being used as a distraction to keep the left and the right fighting, the citizens of the nation fighting. We need to surround, literally, go to Wall Street and surround these too big to fail firms and say you will not do business in this country anymore. You will not do business on this planet anymore. You have bankrupt our nation, you have bankrupt the financial system of the world, and you're sitting here looting countries of the world, exploiting uh, warfare around the world, exploiting uh, energy needs of the citizens of the world, and at this point they're exploiting the, the actual need to just have uh, food on the table making, you know, how many millions of dollars a day uh, because of rising food prices, because of rising energy prices. We do know that some of these firms can go entire quarters without having a losing day in trading. So these companies that should be bankrupt that don't exist anymore were bailed out because of you, because of your potential earnings in the future. They're sitting there hoarding this money to the tunes of tens of trillions of dollars, and they're doing what with it? Are they investing back into the, into the country and back into the community? No, they're selling and buying each other's stock. They're investing and speculating into the stock market. While the average American's income is falling, while the unemployment rate, even though the Bureau of Labor Statistics wants you to believe that it's fallen in the last month, Gallup will tell you the real story. It's exactly where it was a year ago, and it's not getting better. Small businesses can't borrow money. Credit is uh, being restricted to the average citizen. The only persons making uh, hay in this economy are the ones who have bought this economy. The too big to fail, which have destroyed this nation and are now bringing the world closer to uh, World War III. Because after all, 
We know this is how these uh, central cartel of banksters operate. They bring the world into depression. They uh, give you one option and one option only to get out of it, and is that, that is a ramp up to war. Is it ironic that we see today the United States is trying to figure out how to get arms into the protesters in the hands of uh, the citizens of Libya? Isn't it ironic that we see stories about uh, Iran coming out today uh, trying to uh, purchase yellow cake uranium, just like we heard uh, about Iraq before we invaded that country? Every day we have another story blaming somebody else on this planet for the condition of the economy, for the condition of the uh, anger in the world. We're going to try to lay that onto a terrorist group, lay that onto a despot uh, government or a despot leader. But in reality, we live in and amongst the biggest uh, dictators, the biggest control freaks, the biggest uh, cause of the world's angst. And this, this is the central banksters who want us to fight amongst ourselves, want us to kill each other because it is profits them, plain and simple. That's all I got. And that's exactly what he has going for us. He, he, he tells the truth. I'm telling you that Charlie knows what's going on. He really does know what's happening here in America. I just can't believe that we're, we're too stupid to wake up and go up and protest the right people. We should be kicking the Federal Reserve out of this country for the crimes and misdemeanors they have done to us. They are the robber barons. They have actually robbed us. They have taken our money and put it in their own pockets, bought mansions. I'm reading articles today on the Daily Mail and other news media in Europe talking about how they went and took that money that we gave them and are buying mansions. They're buying homes with that money. They're buying things that people are losing. And we're, we're supposed to be like, oh, this is okay. This is all right. This is America. We're supposed to be the losers. No, I don't think so. If nothing else, we should get a group of people together to go march on the Federal Reserve and expulse them and, and kick them out of the country. They shouldn't be allowed here. We should turn them over to the Chinese and say, here is your robbers. These people owe you the money. Do as you will with them. We do not owe you a single penny, China. The money, what does it say? It says Federal Reserve Note. It doesn't say U.S. Treasury note on the top of the dollar. And this is what we should be doing ourselves. We have to stop them now. We have to kick them out. We'll tell China to take them and execute them as they feel freely to do. Because they are what they are, criminals. They have criminalized us. We'll just let China handle it. Because they are the ones that are owed the most from these criminals. These banksters, these New World Orderlists, I mean, oh, it just makes me mad. And we have the UN out there trying to tell us to do things. Our government has got no wavos anymore. They have lost their balls. They're, they're sitting there letting the UN tell us what to do with our vitamins and with our food. It, and, and it's some type of what? Agreement with a foreign entity that our Constitution says we will go to war with if they do such things? We have to shut this government down and restart it over again as soon as possible. Man, this is just wrong, wrong, wrong. We are living in wrong. Do you not understand what they're doing to you? They're going to take away your food. They're telling us we have to grow our food the way that Europe grows their food. Europe hates the way they grow their food because the UN's and the European Union's telling them such garbage. And they're rising up. We all must rise up. What's happening over in the Middle East must happen worldwide. I have no feeling for all for China. The people there are fed up with their own government and are rising up. And they called it a Jasperian uh, movement or something of that nature where it was Jazium. And because the people there are fed up with their government calling them slaves. Basically, that's what they are in China. Slaves. And they're trying to do the same here in America. They're turning us all into slaves. Into, into people to be grovel at their feet. These people are evil. 
and you must wake up to the facts. Stop this, you, you, uh, stop this, you yippies out there with suits and ties and tennis shoes on. Stop it. Stop believing that everything's great because the communist socialist schools have taught you this crap. Stop it. We're going to all be destroyed if you do not. They want to get rid of 80% of us. I'm telling you, Agenda 21 is on the books. Man, I can't say any more than this. This is Spellbinder Reports. Wake up or become a slave with shackles on you. And you won't even realize it because they're trying to get the ID card now. They're trying to get the real ID out there now. Again, the real ID is coming up again, which is nothing more than a tracking tracing system to keep an eye on the slaves, which is you and I. Damn, I can't wake you up anymore. This is Spellbinder Reports. Good day.